In today's video, I'm going to explain to you how to play Apex Legends from your initial drop out of the ship all the way up to your final battle to become Apex Champion. Use our clickable sections below to keep track of what step you're on during this tutorial. Let's start with explaining what Apex Legends is. Apex Legends is a free-to-play hero shooter game in the Battle Royale genre. The objective is to outlast the other 19 teams of 3 in trios mode or 29 other teams in duos mode by any means necessary. Everybody starts in the sky above in a dropship. The first step is to decide where you want to land. This all depends upon playstyle. If you are more of an aggressive player, you might find yourself wanting to land at one of the innermost locations on the map. This way you can engage in combat right away and stand the action. If you are more of a passive player, you may find yourself dropping closer towards the edge of the map and or at the furthest location from the current dropship route. The first thing you want to do is prioritize finding a viable weapon to defend yourself with or attack the opposition right away since they are most vulnerable upon landing. This could be whatever you find yourself comfortable with, but I would recommend a full auto weapon or shotgun if possible. Make sure you avoid prioritizing higher level armor over a weapon to protect yourself with. Rotations are when the game forces you to relocate from your current location in order to keep the matches competitive. These can make or break your entire match. Late rotations can find you being held in the ring flare by an opposing team. Know that the ring flare can kill you if you are in it for too long. On the flip side, rotations that are too early could make you public enemy number one and the remaining teams in the lobby could place focus on you. Finding a happy medium can help you re-enter the safe zone, which is the area where the ring flare has not gone to yet, or go from location to location unscathed. You should try to engage in gunfights only when your team has a better position than the others. This could be having high ground on them, being in the safe zone when the opposing team is not, or jumping into a gunfight as the third team when you know both teams are already damaged. This is known as third partying. If you try to take a fight and you are not in any one of these positions, you are putting yourself at the greatest risk to lose the fight. In-game occurs when there are only five teams left or you've reached round three in a match. This is where decision making has to be pristine and how you play depends on the remaining teams. By now, you wanna make sure you are located in an area that has adequate cover, as well as solid positioning so you can take any type of gunfight. At the same time, you wanna make sure you are either in the safe zone or have a location that you can rotate to in the safe zone. From here, gunfights should only be taken as a third party or if an opposing team tries to attack you and forces close to mid-range combat. Once it is just you and the final opposing team, how you play this is dependent upon your playstyle. If you are an aggressive team, you all can hunt them down using the ability of a recon character or just visually scout them out and begin taking shots at them. If you are a passive team, then you will stand your ground inside the safe zone at a well-guarded location and wait for the enemies to come to you. Either way, the key to winning this final gunfight is to defeat one of their players first. This puts you at a three versus two advantage and can leave the opposing team frantic. From here, I advise playing a bit more aggressive and try to eliminate the remaining players. 